Russia, go home now. Be vegan, make peace, do good deeds, heaven Godspeed. With profound, humble gratitude and love to all venerated, enlightened masters, we bow to the Almighty in soulful gratefulness for gifting us with their holy, blessed presence. May all beings be awakened by their divine grace. Part 1 of 4 Etc. Our programs offer many languages. Please visit suprememastertv.com forward slash schedule. Nos programs offer plusieurs langues. Veuillez visiter suprememastertv.com barre oblique schedule. Nuestros programas ofrecen varios idiomas. Visiten suprememastertv.com barre inclinada schedule. Nuestros programas ofrecen varios idiomas. Accessi suprememastertv.com barre schedule. But I want to tell you people the so-called disciples, if you still believe in me, and if you still want to live, in case you want to choose to live or survive, whatever you can, maybe you will not die, maybe we will win. Because heaven also told me in one of my meditations in the darkness of the night, do not lose your hope to save your world. Please keep watching to find out more. No to vegan. We can see that you'll languish in hell forever already. Supreme Master Ching Hai's lectures are not a complete meditation instruction. Please do not try alone. For free of charge guidance, please visit godsdirectcontact.org or contact any of our centers near you. Today's episode will be presented in English and Spanish with subtitles in Arabic, Olosis, also known as Vietnamese, Bulgarian, Chinese, Czech, English, French, German, Hindi, Hungarian, Indonesian, Japanese, Korean, Malay, Mongolian, Persian, Polish, Portuguese, Punjabi, Romanian, Russian, Spanish, Telugu, Thai, and Ukrainian, or Uranian. Saludos alegres, maravillosos espectadores. Mi nombre es Daniela. Los alegres colombianos los invitan a cantar y bailar con ellos, agradeciendo a Dios por crear tantas deliciosas frutas, vegetales, nueces y granos para nutrir nuestros cuerpos que lleven una vida de verdadera paz, amor e iluminación, adoptando la dieta vegana. Ubicada en el extremo noroeste del continente, Colombia es conocida como la puerta de entrada a Sudamérica, porque conecta Sudamérica con Centroamérica y Norteamérica. Los tesoros naturales del país incluyen una costa caribeña, con islas frente a la costa y grandes áreas protegidas de arrecifes de coral, la mística cordillera de los Andes y la increíble biodiversidad de la selva amazónica. En medio de los abundantes dones de la naturaleza se encuentran muchas comunidades colombianas, singularmente pintorescas. Jardín y Salento son solo dos ejemplos de sus pueblos clásicos donde los visitantes pueden disfrutar una arquitectura distintiva y una taza humeante del renombrado Café de Colombia. Colombia es galardonada con los premios Tuning World al liderazgo por el buen gobierno. La protección y la compasión, la nación ha sido fundamental para ofrecer asistencia a las personas de los países vecinos, así como para proteger a las personas animales. Colombia es también el orgulloso lugar de nacimiento del gigantesco literario Gabriel García Márquez, quien recibió el Premio Nobel de Literatura en 1982. 
las brillantes artes visuales de Colombia reflejan las contribuciones de las personas étnicamente diversas de la región que abarcan más de 3.500 años. Estas incluyen trabajos en oro, cerámica, piedra, escultura y pintura. Además, la música y la danza son parte integral de la vida colombiana, con coloridos vestidos tradicionales que destacan las celebraciones y festivales culturales durante todo el año. Fue un placer mostrar la vibrante Colombia espectadores creativos que sean bañados en abundante alegría y satisfacción cuando sirvan a los demás desinteresadamente. Durante décadas, la maestra suprema Ching Hai, vegana, ha iluminado nuestro mundo con sus enseñanzas divinas. Una maestra completamente iluminada. Ella imparte el método Quan Yin de meditación a aquellos que desean descubrir inmediatamente la naturaleza de Dios interna, para alcanzar en una vida la liberación eterna del ciclo de transmigración. El método Quan Yin ha sido practicado por todos los maestros iluminados, entre ellos el venerado honrado por el mundo, Buda Sakyamuni, vegano, el venerado Jesucristo, hijo de Dios, vegetariano, y el venerado maestro, filósofo Confucio, vegetariano, el venerado señor Krishna, vegetariano, y el venerado maestro, filósofo Lao Tse, vegano, el venerado señor Mahavira, vegano, el amado profeta Mahoma vegetariano, que la paz sea con él. Si, sí, Guru, Nanak, Devji, vegetariano y muchos más. La maestra suprema Ching Hai, vegana, enfatiza que siempre recordemos a Dios. Ofrecemos servicio desinteresado a otros y seguimos las leyes del universo. Alcanzaremos nuestro potencial más elevado como humanos y comprenderemos verdaderamente nuestro propósito en la tierra un extraordinario ejemplo viviente de compasión ella envía amorosamente de forma habitual asistencia material y financiera a los refugiados a los desamparados a las víctimas de desastres naturales y a otros que necesitan ayuda Maestra Suprema Ching Hai Vegana respetuosamente agradece a todos los individuos especiales, organizaciones, líderes y gobiernos por todo su apoyo genuino, amoroso y constante. Que el cielo los bendiga por siempre. Nosotros, los miembros de la Asociación Internacional Maestra Suprema Ching Hai, también agradecemos sinceramente por su expresiva bondad, deseándoles lo mejor. La maestra suprema Ching Hai Vegana recibe el amor y el reconocimiento de numerosas organizaciones, medios de comunicación, gobiernos particulares y muchos galardones como por ejemplo el premio GUSI de la Paz 2006, considerado el premio Nobel de la Paz de Oriente. El premio al liderazgo mundial espiritual en 1994, el premio Mahavir en el 2008, la proclamación de los días 22 de febrero y 25 de octubre como Día de la Maestra Suprema Ching Hai, nombrada Ciudadana Honoraria de los Estados Unidos, etc. Y ha sido honrada a través de los años con otros numerosos premios y galardones por sus excepcionales obras filantrópicas y humanitarias.
etc. Nos disculpamos por no poder mostrar otros muchos premios y honores por falta de espacio y tiempo. La maestra suprema Chin Hai Vegana respetuosamente agradece a todos los individuos especiales, organizaciones, líderes y gobiernos por todo su apoyo genuino, amoroso y constante. Que el cielo los bendiga por siempre. Nosotros, los miembros de la Asociación Internacional Maestra Suprema Chin Hai, también agradecemos sinceramente por su expresiva bondad, deseándoles lo mejor. Como verdadera voz para nuestros preciosos amigos animales, la Maestra Suprema Chin Hai Vegana promueve la pacífica y amorosa dieta a base de productos vegetales y vislumbra con él despertar de la humanidad hacia lo sagrado de todas las vidas un tranquilo y glorioso mundo completamente vegano donde las personas de los reinos humano y animal vivan en respetuosa armonía sus iniciativas incluyen la distribución del volante de vida alternativa los restaurantes veganos internacionales Lobin Hub empresas de alimentación vegana productos de piel vegana Supreme Master Television, además de escribir y hablar con influyentes líderes de gobierno y medios de comunicación, participar en conferencias televisadas sobre el cambio climático, etc. Tanto si somos conscientes de ello como si no, sus esfuerzos han tenido una enorme influencia sobre la conciencia mundial del estilo de vida respetuoso con las personas, animales y de cómo esta manera benevolente puede traer paz duradera entre las naciones a la vez que salva nuestro planeta del cambio climático y de los desastres. La maestra suprema Chin Hai Vegana ha viajado por todo el mundo y ofrecido discursos al público y a sus discípulos sobre muchos temas espirituales. El 19 de febrero de 2023, nuestra amadísima maestra suprema Chin Hai, vegana, ofreció su precioso tiempo para compartir su amor y sabiduría, respondiendo preguntas que los miembros del equipo tenían sobre varios temas. Hoy tenemos la bendición de presentarles la esclarecedora conferencia titulada Revelaciones desde los cielos sobre eventos futuros en el mundo, parte 3 de 5, entre maestra y discípulos, impartida en inglés. Peace for Ukraine or Ukraine. It's not easy for me alone to take care of everything. Understand, yes, Master. Understand, Master. Everything takes time, even the more details. Washing dishes or washing clothes, you just buy a machine and washing clothes with a washing machine. It still takes time to hang out and to uh, retrieve it, etc., etc. Yes, Master. Yes, Master. Yes, Master. And rainy weather and all that because I don't use any clothes dryer. But even if I have one, in some places I don't have anything. I have to uh, wash my hand anyway. It depends on where I go, of course. But even if I have like a clothes dryer, I won't use it. I want to save as much as possible. Even if I have a small room or a big room, it depends on where I go. I don't turn on all the lights. I use them only where I need to use. Yes, yes sir. And I use like a solar flashlight as well. Yes. 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 Because my phone, I turn it off. Whenever I don't use it, I turn it off. And I want to tell the disciples, at least, who listen, that you have to say whatever you can. It's not just because of money, it's the karma. It's also for other people who need it. If we use too much, other people might not be able to afford it because the price will go up if things are not enough. Yes, understand, yeah, master. So I say electricity, I don't turn on all the lights wherever I don't need them. Not because I save the money, but for other people to use, to share. 
Yes, 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 yes master. master. So that the prize will not be too over picked and put other people into suffering and despair. But I want to tell you people, the so-called disciples, if you still believe in me and if you still want to live, in case you want to choose to live or survive, whatever you can, maybe you will not die, maybe we will win. Because heaven also told me in one of my meditations in the darkness of the night, do not lose your hope to save your world. I will give a photograph, then you can see my scrapping writing in the dark. Mm. I have to use a pen and my other finger to trace my writing. Well, so it's mm. not like a straight line, because if I didn't use my other finger to trace it, then I would probably write one word on top of the other. Yes, 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 yes. Master. So it says, don't lose your hope to save your world. Oh, and that makes me feel very, very, somehow much better after that. Yes, Master. Yes, Master. And I taped it on the wall where I'm working. I'm going to give you a photograph of that. Thank you, Master. Thank you, Master. Thank you. Don't laugh at my writing. No, no Master. No, Master. Because it's written in complete darkness. I could not find the light at that time. And I didn't want the light to disturb my continued vision for many other things. Understand, yes, yes, Master. So I just used two hands, one hand with a pen and the other hand with a finger to trace it to put the other finger on the page so that I know where I have written already, so I don't write on that finger, press on space. Yes, I yes, understand. Master. 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 Yeah, that's how I kept pressing the finger, one line after another, but it still doesn't look very good. But still, you can read it. Hmm. I thought it's not readable, but I read it and it's okay. I want to tell my so-called disciples, if you still call me Master, please listen well. If you do want to survive, please prepare many things, like a solar flashlight, yeah, anything solar that you can, and then prepare food. Yes, yes Master. Yes. At least so it lasts for two weeks or months or more, if you can. Those that will not rot soon. Yes, yes. yes. And if you're using some of them because the date of expiration is soon, then you buy new ones to replace them in your pantry or in your cellar, wherever you put your food. Those that don't need a refrigerator, like rice, dry noodles of different kinds of beans, dry beans or canned beans and canned food and dry food, you save some for yourself in case really an emergency breaks out. I do hope not. I do hope not. Please pray that whatever I say to you is wrong. But just prepare in case. Who knows? Yes, Master. Yes, yes Master. Master. Now, prepare food and prepare something for an emergency, for warming the house. Look on the internet to learn many things that you could survive with in case of an emergency. Yes, Master. Yes, Master. Yes, Master. Etc. In case atomic bombs or nuclear bombs explode somewhere, even if not too near you, and of course, especially if near you, don't go out. Don't go out for as long as possible. Depends on where you are, of course. Just stay indoors. Eat whatever you have in your pantry. It's safer. Don't try to go out and look for food or take things from the agriculture fields, they are contaminated and you will be breathing in contaminated air. Just stay put inside the house, if you can, or anywhere inside, okay? Stay put. Understand, yes, master. Yes, master. 
there is something also called anti-radiation drugs. I don't know how effective it is, but you guys can try to see if it's good. Then you can also prepare to have some at home in case. Yes, yes, yes. Master. But if a nuclear weapon lands within a 50 kilometers radius near where you live, then you don't eat anything from the field for at least many weeks or months on end because it will be contaminated by the radiation of the atom bomb or nuclear bomb. Okay, Master. Understand, Master. Understand, Master. Knowing what to do in the first hour of a nuclear attack might just mean the difference between life and death. <laughs> An atom bomb destroys or injures in three ways, by blast, heat, and radioactivity. These, then, are the weapons of the atom bomb that we must protect against. According to Jeff Schlegelmilch, Deputy Director at the National Center for Disaster Preparedness, If you see a nuclear flash, the first thing to do is get behind a barrier in case the shockwave comes. Bear in mind, the shockwave is traveling at hundreds of kilometers an hour, so you won't have long to find cover. Radiation safety specialist Brooke Budmeyer recommends sheltering behind something that is structurally sound. When I think of where I would go for protection from prompt effects and from the blast wave in particular, I think of the same kinds of things that we do for tornadoes. Be in an area where if there's a dramatic jolt, things aren't going to fall on you. If you do manage to survive the shockwave, things sadly don't get much easier. It's now a real race against time. You will have some time to take action to keep you and your family safe. The biggest thing, get inside, stay inside, and stay tuned. The likelihood is that you'll have somewhere between 10 to 20 minutes to find shelter. First off, don't stay in your car. The metal doors and glass windows are going to be way too thin to protect you from gamma radiation. Mobile homes won't offer adequate shelter either. Instead, try to find a basement or a larger multi-story building. Remembering the key factor is putting as many thick layers between you and the fallout. We're talking concrete or brick here, so nice looking glass skyscrapers or homes built out of wood and plaster aren't your best bets. If you're in a city with a subway system, heading deep inside would also offer a decent level of protection. Assuming you've made it inside somewhere above ground, avoid the top floors. All the fallout is going to settle on the roof. And the whole point of going inside is to stay as far away as possible from those pesky dust particles that are emitting dangerous levels of gamma radiation, which could lead to radiation poisoning. Instead, get to the center of the building. If there's time to close off areas where fallout might enter, doors, fireplaces, air conditioners, windows, then do it. Okay, let's look at a slightly different scenario, one where things didn't go quite so smoothly. This time we've abandoned our car and sprinted to the nearest sturdy looking building, but fallout might be starting to land around you. If you think it is, the best thing to do is cover your nose and mouth with a rag and close your eyes. Stumbling around like this won't be easy, so in this example, it's taken 15 minutes to actually get inside. Did any of that fallout land on you? Is it in your hair or on your clothes? It might be, which means you're at risk of getting acute radiation poisoning. Carefully remove your outer layer of clothing. This can remove 90% of radioactive material. Put it in a plastic bag and leave it somewhere far out of the way. Take your time. Wiping your kit off too quickly might shake free any radioactive dust, and that's not going to help anyone. A shower would also be quite handy. By all means, treat yourself to some soap and shampoo to help wash yourself off, but avoid using conditioner. It'll bind radioactive particles to your hair. Even if there's no shower, wash your face, hands, and any body parts that were uncovered using a sink, damp cloth, or wet wipe. Again, the key is using plenty of water and taking your time. The last thing you want to do is scratch yourself and allow radioactive material to get into your skin. By now, it's likely an hour has passed, which means that the radioactive fallout outside will have already decayed by 50%. Within the first 24 hours, it will have given up 80% of its energy going up to 99% after two weeks. But remember, if the radiation was high enough to begin with, that 1% could still be dangerous. So staying indoors for as long as significantly possible reduces your chances of contamination. If you have any farms or any land around you or garden, use them to the maximum to plant a vegetable every time. 
And if you don't have, then maybe you squeeze together and keep one room free. And in that room, you grow vegetables. It doesn't have to be big deal vegetables. Any vegetable you eat, most of them, for example, even cabbage, if you take out all the leaves in the middle, it has a core. If you don't cut too deep into the core to damage it, then you just plant it in the earth and water it. It will grow. Yes, Master. Yes, Master. I promise, it does. Yes. I did that before. It helps. It really grows. And even peppermint, you take out some leaves already and just a stem left. You plant it. The little branch, you plant it in the soil, it will grow again. And vegetables like bok choy and stuff like that, you just cut the leaves and leave the end of the bok choy or the vegetable about two, three inches and then plant it again. Yes, Master. It will grow out just as new and broccoli, core, everything. I did that before. Yes, yes. I think I might have some photographs somewhere. They grow out of them. They grow again like new in no time. Wow, wow. I yeah. see, Master. Yes, Master. It really grows. And you can buy a lot of seeds, a lot of beans, and begin growing vegetables already. I mean, the beans can grow sprouts. And even in shortest cases, the bean sprouts and the dry beans are enough for you to consume and to survive. Yes, Master. Yes, master. Beans and seeds don't go bad so quickly. You can always keep growing them and eating them instead of going out to buy vegetables because in emergency times, there might be no shops, no vegetables for you to buy. Understand. And store some water in gallon containers or something already. Yes, Master. Okay, yes, master. master. And in the case of an emergency, just keep them to drink, not to bath or anything. Maybe just clean your teeth, but not bathing. Maybe just use a wet towel to wipe your body whenever needed. It doesn't have to be every day. Yes, Master. 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 In uh, Buddhism, the monks take a bath every two weeks. I do the same, and it doesn't matter. It's okay nowadays. Of course, if I have to go out and lecture, then I have to make myself more clean. But I feel clean the way I'm doing it. And you don't have to eat three meals a day if you don't work so hard, you don't go out or anything. Normally one meal is enough. You just eat until you are happy. And that's all you need, really. Okay, Master. Understand, Master. 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 Russia, leave Ukraine or Ukraine now. Peace be with you too. The teaching that it is necessary to eat meat in order to obtain strength is vicious and entirely untrue. For the elephant, one of the strongest creatures on our earth, is a non-meat-eating animal. The venerated enlightened master, Saint Germain, vegetarian. Mañana en Entre Maestras y Discípulos, in that temple, sometimes they didn't finish all the tea, so I diluted it with more water, and then I water the plant with it. Oh, it go like crazy. <laughs> Everybody was surprised. <laughs> I had a witness, not like I'm telling you the story. Uh, I used to live in that temple uh, from Master Shen Yen, yes. and he told his disciples in Taiwan that that's how the plant grow all over like that. He knew it, <laughs> and he even told uh, his disciples, or his followers in Taiwan when he came back to his temple from America. Amables espectadores, les agradecemos su compañía en el episodio de hoy titulado Revelaciones desde los cielos sobre eventos futuros en el mundo, parte 3 de 5, entre maestra y discípulos. A continuación sigue... Dios es infinito y eterno, la divina providencia de Emmanuel Genderworth, vegetariano, parte 1 y 2, en palabras de sabiduría. Después de noticias de interés, sigan con nosotros en Supreme Master Television para más programación positiva. 
que Dios les bendiga y les conceda alas para volar más alto hacia sus nobles sueños. Kind viewers, we thank you for your company for today's episode entitled Heaven's Revelations about Future World Events, Part 3 of 5, on Between Master and Disciples. Coming up next is God is Infinite and Eternal, from Divine Providence, by Emmanuel Swedenborg, Vegetarian, Part 1 of 2, on Words of Wisdom, right after Noteworthy News. Please stay tuned to Supreme Master Television for more positive programming. May God bless you and grant you wings to fly higher toward your noble dreams. Peace for Ukraine or Ukraine. Be vegan, make peace, do good deeds, hell not reach. Our programs offer many languages. Please visit suprememastertv.com forward slash schedule and suprememastertv.com forward slash BMD 